Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I have a Life at Camp episode for you today featuring electricity, which has been uh, giving me some issues and posing some challenges. So like this video, subscribe to my channel. Let's get into it. Today I set up my bamboo table with my tablet and my rock pals. I was charging my phone and my tablet and I'm watching the Arizona Diamondbacks game. Winston's been resting and recovering from our adventure last night, but it has been a relaxing day overall. The last warm day, although a breeze did pick up, which I'm thankful for. Probably put my broom away later. I swept up again and just doing my normal stuff, you know, cleaning up the van, getting organized, getting my um, electronics charged. I think tomorrow I will go into town again, dump trash, get some more water because I'm about to shower soon, and also pick up some more food. Today it's 89, but it's supposed to drop down to 82 tomorrow and be 77 by Wednesday. This is what we're working with. It's been an awesome day. I uploaded a short and a reel recently because I saw this trend on social media where people were writing on their windows or back windshields, uh, like their Venmo or their Cash App or their PayPal for different things like girls night, wedding, buy me a beer, whatever, stuff like that. So I did my own. <laughs> That says, buy my dog treats for our travels. And I put my cash up in my Venmo. I bought glass, uh, like these window markers on Amazon. So, yeah, just like a super fun thing. Uh, some Karen was like, oh my god, I can't believe you're asking for money. I do not approve. Well, first of all, Karen, I'm not asking for your approval. Second of all, it's no different than like people sending me a super chat or a super thanks or, you know five or ten dollars to get treats for Winston like give me a break it's just like a fun thing so good gracious but uh yeah so that is kind of fun gave me something to do <laughs> while at camp and yeah I think that's it you should try it I had kind of forgotten about this tarp pull for my trunk it holds up the trunk to take the pressure off of the shocks that I replaced earlier this year. I was like, man, I should start using that more often. So I put it up. I typically use my tarp poles when I use my awning, but I don't have to have my awning up here because I have so much shade. Additionally, I have these bug screens. It's literally just a roll of screen I purchased from Amazon with magnets I purchased from Amazon. Maddie cut them, I think around March, to fit my trunk and my side doors. The last few nights I've been a little bit warm at night when Winston and I are just chilling in the van. So I decided to get my bug screen out. That way I can leave the door open tonight when we're chilling and the bugs won't get in there. Here are my other two screens. I just keep them in this zipper bag in my rooftop box. So those have been my little tinker projects just now. It's almost time to shower and I'm ready because I'm kind of gross. Y'all, so recently I noticed that when I plugged my Rock Pals into my van, into the back DC port, it started making noises. So I pulled out the cord this morning and it's straight up melted in there. So that's not good. I use that plug a lot to charge my Rock Pals or my Jackery. It's those cords right there. So Hi. So that top port melted my Rock Pals. So that's really concerning. So I'm just not going to use it for now. I have to trash this. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even know. 
We just got back to camp from town and it looks and sounds like it might rain. And as I said that, I just got a raindrop on me. <laughs> it's blue right above us, but it's also very dark in the other directions. So I put away what was necessary, put my screen up in the trunk, put my groceries away, and just gonna kinda wait and see if we get rain. It won't be a lot, I don't think. And it might not even rain. I might have just gotten that one raindrop because that's Arizona for ya. Y'all, look at my van. I love my van. <laughs> I love my van. Ugh. I'm obsessed with my van. I mean, let's be honest. Such a vibe. And I love the new nighttime vibe I have with my fake candles. Ugh. You guys, I just love it. See, this is... Arizona's so fickle. It was, like, dark, thundering, super loud thunder. It's sunny. Who knows what's going to happen. But it's only 82 today, and yesterday it was 89, so not complaining. Y'all, I just woke up and uh, ran into a snag <laughs> in the middle of the night, if you will. Just making my coffee. So I woke up at like 3 o'clock this morning and I noticed that my fridge light wasn't on. My fridge was off. I was like, what the heck? I had literally checked my All Powers power station last night on my Bluetooth and it showed it was at like 88% and I had checked it at like 10 p.m. So I literally got out of my van at 3 a.m. because my all powers is on my passenger seat floor and none of the lights were on and none of the lights were turning on. So I plugged my fridge into my Vtomen which is low on power anyways. It's at like 29% now um, just to keep my fridge running. But yeah, this morning my all powers is like it's just not working. It's just dead. And this is the one that Maddie gifted to me. So I don't have like, there's, you know, I don't have like warranty or, you know, I'm not the one who got the, the product. So yeah, I have a backup at home. You know, I still have my Van Powers power station, but I really don't want to have to like go home yet. So I'm hoping that when Maddie wakes up, I can ask him either to troubleshoot the power station or see if he has a backup for me because the next few days are supposed to be really beautiful and I don't want to go home, but like I need that. I'm, I'm about out of power and I have nothing to run my fridge. So we'll see. Maddie came over and uh, took my all powers. It's just like super weird that it just stopped working. It's been working perfectly. So <clears throat> he's tinkering on it right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, if he can't get it working again, he has the anchor that I can use for a few days before I go back down to the valley and can snag my van powers. So adapt and overcome. Y'all don't judge me. I have to wash my hair today. I know I'm a mess. <laughs> All right. So an update on my all powers. Uh, Maddie troubleshooted it this morning and he got it back up and running. And when it turned on, it said it was at 13%. Now what's weird is that he's had this exact same issue when he owned the power station. He took it out one day. It was at 13%. So all powers, this this unit has some sort of issue. I haven't had any problems with it yet, but it just decided to stop working. Um, so he's, well, he went into town, but before he did, he started getting it charged up. And in the meantime, I'm using his big anchor unit to run my fridge. And then in the background, I have my VTOMAN charging up because it gets, it got down to 24%. Um, didn't have a ton of solar yesterday and I was just like using it. I also wasn't anticipating on my all powers not working today. So I just wasn't worried about getting it charged up. I also have my rock pals charging. 
So I'm hoping to get another like two hours of sun before it starts raining, but thankfully I have the anchor and the anchor is like a 2000 watt unit. So that'll keep my fridge running probably literally like three days without even charging it. Um, it also happens to fit very well on my passenger seat floor, which is nice. And I'll show that to you guys, but so far crisis averted, but it does look like I will have to switch back to using my van powers. 1500 watt unit when I get back to the valley. Luckily, I can still use my Rofi 200 watt panel with that unit because I don't like the Van Power Solar. So, uh, all in all, I have been able to overcome the challenge with uh, the help of Maddie. And next week, when I come back up, because I'll probably head back down to the valley like on Friday for four days or so. And then when I come back up north, I will be using my Van Powers again. We're expecting rain today, but it is so beautiful out right now. I, for the most part, got my van cleaned up, and then that's the anchor sitting on my floor. So as you can see, even though it's so big, I was able to kind of slide it um, all the way under there, which is, which is great. So at least I have a temporary solution and I didn't fold my main blanket today because at some point I think Winston and I will have to get in the van to escape the rain but Maddie also left his upez out uh, with solar oh I need to move his solar I just realized and then here's my two solar units so adapt and overcome <laughs> But I was just jamming to some Spice Girls, enjoying this weather, and I also put away some things in anticipation for my rain, including my Amanda and Winston sign, because uh, we are expecting quite a bit of it this afternoon, but we'll see. We had rain today, but I managed to get my Rock Pals up to 90% and my Vitomin up to 60% before the rain came through, so I did have some sun. The anchor is still working nicely on the front seat, and the All Powers is at about 60%, but Maddie is going to continue charging that up. So... I will have some rain and hail footage for you guys coming soon. And if you didn't see, we started a new Adventuring with Amanda Facebook group. So be sure to request to join that if you're interested. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and we'll see you next time.